Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim World 2. We're back again on the West Cornwall local line that we haven't been on for a while. We're going to do the training again because basically I've forgotten how to drive the train. And if you're new to this, you'll know how to drive the train. Uh, we'll do one of the scenarios and then maybe do a timetabled route as well uh, in the class 150. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTubes and you're new to my content, uh, hello. Uh, this is going out on Train Sim Saturday. I know it's a new thing. Um, other content from me uh, is OMSI on a Monday, Train Sim on a Wednesday. Yeah, it's going to get confusing, isn't it? Train Sim Classic uh, goes out on YouTube on a Wednesday, which I also stream on a Wednesday. Train Sim World 2 goes out on YouTube now on a Saturday, the same day that I stream it on a Saturday. I know, it's a system. I thought of it all by myself. Uh, other content uh, is something fun on a Friday. And um, I've got something new to look at that goes out on a Sunday. So plenty of content from me. Yeah, as I'm now streaming Train Sim twice a week. Uh, Classic on a Wednesday. Train Sim on a Su Train Sim World 2 on a Saturday. I, I, just, I may as well put two videos out, wouldn't I? Um, so yes, uh, we're gonna now the waffles out of the way. There'll be some links in the doobly doobly. I can't even speak today. There'll be some links in the doobly doo below uh, to where you can get the DLC for Train Sim World Two. Uh, there'll also be a link down there to the Twitch page where you can watch this stuff live. I know it's a thing, uh, and there'll also be a link down there to the Discord server that everyone hates. Uh, right. So yes, hi to Richard and Hawklin. Uh, let's click on the thing. I'm going to do the training again because basically I've forgotten it. Uh, so we'll do the training on the class 150. We won't do the one, the 37 because it's freight and we don't do freight. Uh, we'll do the training on the class uh, 150 again. Because, yeah, otherwise I won't have a clue what I'm doing. Uh, hi, Cryptic. Am I with Ed and Jack? Welcome to this introduction for the class 150 stroke 2 multiple unit in British Rail Regional Railways livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the basic start and stop procedures by taking this train into one of the sidings. Okay. I forgot I forgot on all these DLCs there's different people doing the the, the speaky thing. Some of them are really good. Some of them that's a nice guy, I should imagine. Climb just... aboard to get started. Well, I can't climb aboard because the train hasn't stopped yet. It's nice having you stream at an Australian friendly time. Well, that's true. But I can't get on because the doors haven't opened yet. I sit in the driver's seat. Well, where's the driver gone? How do you, okay. Oh, he's at that end, isn't he? About to say, how did he get out? He's at the other end, isn't he? Okay, let's go in here and sit in the cupboard. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, okay, we approve. First, you need to take control of this cab. Switch the master key to unlocked to was, enable this cab for driving. I was opening the windows. Uh, master key to unlock. Switch the headlights to day. Headlights are important in letting others around you know that this multiple unit is operational. Move the reverser to the forward position. Move the throttle to notch one. Oh, we're not picking up passengers then, okay. Now move the train brake into the released position to release the brakes and start moving forwards. Well, we're moving forwards. Okay, so reach 15 miles an hour. So we got a scenario we haven't done. 
that we'll do, and then we'll do a timetabled run. Okay, so we've got to use the train brake to come to a stop. See, proper train. Proper smoky diesel. There's a 101 up there as well. Still doesn't look much like Penzance, but okay. throttle to notch zero, then apply the train brake to braking one to bring this train to a controlled stop at the objective. Okay, we will do that when we get close to it. I wonder if the guy was give, actually given instruction to speak really slowly, uh, slowly, slowly, and I wonder if when they, he sent the recording in they were like, they probably didn't have the heart to tell him. I could do one of those. Hi, Hillsman. I'm up early today. I've been up six and a quarter hours. Steve Satnav. Uh, I'm doing good, thank you all. Way too early. What, five to six? Got lots done. Okay, in we come then to do the stoppy thing at the stoppy place. But Saturday's National Lane 11.30 day. I don't think I've ever done that. That's half the day gone. Why would you do that? If I didn't up to 11.30, I wouldn't sleep on a Saturday night. I then... Some days 2 p.m. No, I occasionally have a line to about 7 on a Sunday. And that, that's pushing it. Uh, set the train brake to full service. Set the reverser to the off position. Set the headlights to off. Headlights to off. Marker lights to off. You didn't tell me to do that, Press did you? Press the engine stop button to shut down the engine. Finally, switch the master key to locked. To de Good work. That is the basics covered. You are ready to head out there on your own. Oh, God, really? If you have any more questions, a manual can also be obtained that provides more details about the full functionality of this multiple unit. Cup final followed by Eurovision. Won't be watching either of those. I'll be here. Uh, okay. So let's go back to the main menu. We'll then jump into a scenario, one that we haven't done. So explore, scenarios, coastal takeover, because the other one was at night. Uh, that's what we're going to do. So, operate a passenger service. Um, first service operating from St. Allstall to St. Earth, and then the second operating from St. Earth to St. Ives. So, going uh, up and down both bits of the line. So, that's what we're going to do. Put my laptop next to me. There's no room up here to put a laptop next to me, and I'm not interested in football. It's a game played by idiots, watched by morons, and they're all uh, overpaid. And I'm not interested in Eurovision.
We're going to get zero points, and Ukraine's going to win. Uh, welcome to St. Austell Station. Uh, today you'll be operating two services, one from St. Austell to St. Earth, and the other from St. Earth to St. Ives. Both services will call all stations. I'm guessing I've got to go... Hello! Uh, I'm guessing I've got to go up and over the train. We're second favourites to win. It is a good song, actually. I quite like the song. I hope we at least score some points. We didn't score any last year. Okay. Lower the driver's seat. Well, I can't do it from here, can I? I don't know where here is. Where are we? There's no station name. Oh, St. Austell. Okay. It did tell me that, didn't it? Uh, I'm doing good, thank you. Only problem is if Ukraine win, it has to be in Ukraine next year. I should imagine they'll bend the rules for that. Um, okay, I'm just going to close the window. Open the window, rather. I might get a bit wet, but it's fine. Set the master key to unlocked. Unlock the doors. Uh, that one. Unlock left. We'll put headlights to day. We'll put marker lights to on. We want to turn the instrument lights on. We want destination light is on. Tail light switch is off. That's good. We've only got marker lights on. Uh, I think we're good. Wait until 14.02.30. So, 20 seconds. So, where are we going? We are going to Truro, Redruth, Camborne, Hale, St. Earth. Uh, then turn around, I'm guessing. Yeah, then St. Earth, Leyland, Carbis Bay, St. Ives. That's an hour. Blimey. Uh, no destination blind. Um, I'm guessing not. Which side is it? It's the other side, isn't it? No. Uh, oh, locked doors. Okay, 13 miles to Truro. Okay, releasing the brakes. Oh, yeah. Chichba, thanks very much for the follow. Hang on. Yeah, I didn't do a thing, did I? Bear with me. Put it into forward would probably help, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll try that again. No, that's the wrong one. Bear with me. Hang on. No, don't go backwards. Reverse into forward. There we go. Right, brakes release. Hang on, we're going backwards. <laughs> we're doing well, are we? Reverse it in forward. Okay. There we are. We're going in the right direction now. Okay, we've got 60 limit in two miles. Right, all of the beans. Turn that volume down a little tiny bit. Would be a rainy day, wouldn't it? Typically.
Oh, it does look good though. Right, off to Truro we go. See, I don't even mind looking out the little porthole window because diesel. This would be good in VR. Probably would actually. I don't even use track IR in this. Uh, there we go. I just I don't know why I don't use track IR. I should do really. Right, 13 miles to uh, 12 miles to Truro. 60 limit. We're not going to hit that though, are we? So when it says calling at all stations, it's a bit of a gap between stations, isn't it? It does sound good. Oh, we're about to actually hit line speed. I think we're going downhill slightly. Right, so we'll do a little bit of coasting. Do you put the wiper on? Probably not. Oh wow, okay. You'd have thought it would have slowed me down for that change, wouldn't you? That was a bit aggressive. Where does that go up there? Right, single track goodness obviously used to be double track. You can see that by the width of the bridge. It's obviously not a very well used line. So good. Right, we're at risk of doing the speedy thing now because we've got a 1.4, 1.2 downhill grade. So I'll have to just apply a little bit of braking just to stop us from doing the speedy thing. Yeah, don't forget, a couple of weeks' time, uh, something very new is coming to Train Sim World 2 uh, in the form of steam, steam train. Uh, so I will be switching around my schedule for that week. So I normally do Train Sim World 2 on a Saturday, Train Sim on the Wednesday. The uh, route release is on a Tuesday, 31st of May. Um, so I'll be uh, doing Train Sim World 2 on the Wednesday. So we'll see how hard Steam is. Very, I should imagine. We're not using much power. We're just coasting down the hill. It's quite a long single track section. I'm guessing there's really infrequent trains down here, so it doesn't even warrant passing points. I'm guessing the passing points will be at the station. So you'll have like a 10 mile stretch then with no passes. Double bridge there. So we're on the right hand side going under that 
tunnel, a uh, bridge back then. We've now switched to what used to be the left hand side. Yeah, never ridden this line. Never been down to uh, Penzance by train because that's an awesome route. It'd be nice if they did Plymouth to Penzance for this. Might be a bit too far though. Okay, gonna get more of the beans. Still got seven miles to go until we arrive at Truro. Quite a nice little route this one. I, in my head I had visions of it being like a lot slower speed limit but I think I'm getting that confused with the West Somerset one which is only a 40 I think. Getting speed now. So back off the power. I love the fact that in this, they're not hiding the fact that it was um, twin track. So they've actually had that into the modeling. You can see on the right there where the second line would have been not just though they've done it it's one line and that's it they've done it as though there were two lines and they've removed one that's quite cool bit more braking Okay, down into uh, Truro. It's the amount of times over the years in both games we've come up and down this line. Obviously a couple of times I've come up it in a pacer. Doing the whole uh, Paddington to Penzance in a pacer. Ah, so here's our passing point then. Five miles from the end. And a slight downhill grade towards Truro. And then uphill again. Okay, give it all the beans. It's 
to try and maintain the speed if we can. Yeah, quite a pleasant little run so far. So pretty much, uh, well not flat out, but because of the hills, we're not gaining much in the way of overall speed. Okay, that's dark. That's that's yeah, it's a bit dark. All right, two and a half miles to go. arrive down into Truro. Really do like Truro. I've been there for blimey ten years. Right, 30 coming up in 1.9 miles, but that's after the station, so, uh, or it might be at the station. Job, we got an uphill bit now. That's, um, that, that's, that's dark. I think they put some lights in those tunnels, really. Uh, you can have those um, sensing lights, so when the train approaches, the lights come on in the tunnel. The train goes past, lights go off. How hard could it be? Getting power to them when it's remote? Fine, just solar power. A little wind turbine. Okay, we've got 30 coming up, so we'll start doing the brakey thing. There's the cathedral. It's all nice around there, it's all cobbled and everything. Right, into our first stop we come then, Truro. And we got red after the station.
Not bad. Uh, unlocked doors. Running a couple of minutes late as well. I does say St. Ives on the front. Seven wives, seven kittens, seven hats, seven mittens, whatever it was. Seven porcupines. Got a bit of a uh, snowplow thing on the front as well. In case we encounter, you know, snow. Locking doors. Oh, see, she only just made it. That guy's not going to make it. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed the train. Uh, Red Ruth is next. So we got a green. I haven't seen another train yet, have we? Apart from that 101 in the siding as we came out of Penzance. Train sim world, of course, in AI will be bland. Well, yeah, just seeing some. Also, sat. Why is track IR putting me looking slightly to my left? There we go. Right, 6.9 miles. Certainly a load more routes I'd like to see in this. I know they've got that sort of hour roughly limit. You know, for me locally, I'd love to see uh, Swindon to uh, Cheltenham or Gloucester because it's a nice trip up through uh, Stonehouse. Oh, quite a dry sense of humour. Right, six miles. Will we see another train? definitely a lovely part of the country down here. The, the, the bit going down St Ives is actually quite nicely done. You're on a 33 second delay about six seconds I think between the stream and, uh, and me four seconds oh another train well, that's one Right, still just flat out because we're going uphill. We're not going to hit even line speed. Maximum speed of this train, 75 miles an hour. That's just not going to happen, is it? So 
So for those watching live tonight, back with some uh, more Surgeon Sim. Uh, tomorrow lunchtime, uh, some more farming from multiplayer farm, and then next week Tuesday is going to be Omzi. Wednesday is Train Sim Classic. Uh, Thursday to be decided. Uh, not sure what to do yet. Uh, Friday is going to be some more Forza. Next Saturday lunchtime, some more Train Sim, Train Sim World Two. Uh, next Saturday night uh, to be decided as well. Crispy put you on a delay. No, he doesn't watch the streams. Are we going slightly downhill? I love the fact that there's a delay when you back the throttle off. It's not instant before the engine powers down. So a downhill slight run into Red Ruth. Still double track as far as here. Yeah, obviously the other side of Truro isn't. It's obviously busier from Truro heading uh, north than it is going the other way. Okay, got caught out by the uphill grade then. Yeah, we've now got a 70 limit. Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? Can he do it, Captain? Can he go any faster? So where are we going? We're going uh, Red Ruth, Camborne, Hale, St Earth, and then uh, turning round at St Earth and going Leland, Carbis Bay and St Ives. Imagine this line's just packed with tourists in the summer. Certainly a bit down to St Ives, I bet it's absolutely heaving. Yeah, I remember sitting on the beach at Carbis Bay the train trundling behind me. It's quite a sudden jolt as he put the power on though, it's not a smooth operation. It's quite undulating. Break 60. Shame, we've only got a mile to go now, though.
Right, slow it down. Michael, 25 of the months. That's a long time, Michael. Thank you very much for your continued support. Okay, into Red Ruth, we arrive in the rain. <laughs> Too bloody long. Well, yeah, some say. Oh, the little luggage tug thing parked up there. Look, little three wheel thing. You used to pull the baggage cars around. That's so cool. Bit of worth a fortune now if you were to restore one of those. Uh, locking doors. Okay, Campbell. Train don't stop, Campbell, on Wednesdays. Nico's car. Things like a bus in it, it's fine accelerating up to about 40 and then it just runs out of puff. So we got to carry on down at St. Earth, turn around, and then go down the line to St. Ives. And then I'll see if I can find a timetable route from St. Ives, so it'll come back up. Yeah, I've decided to stick um, each sim. I see, apart from a couple of weeks' time when Steam releases, we'll swap it around. I might even do two Train Sim World 2 streams that week. Um, so, Train Sim World 2 on a Saturday, Train Sim on a Wednesday. Just try and keep the two of them apart. Omsi on a Tuesday. Something fun on a Friday. Something single player on a Thursday. Farming on a Sunday. Okay, 2.2 miles to Camborne. A horny train. Have we got a little shaft? Yeah. All right, one point four miles.
that's definitely aggressive when the engine cuts in when you put the power on it's like yep we just engage gear now you can't really be smooth with it Right, 200 yards, we've got a yellow. We've got a red in 1.2 miles, that's after this station. Weekly. But they go, they just fell through the floor. So yeah, we're gonna get on the train, we're gonna fall through the floor. We're gonna go on. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's something a bit up there. <laughs> just get on. <laughs> They're all under the train. Right, locked doors. Do we wait for her to get on? Yeah, give her a chance to get on. There we go. <laughs> Basement seating. Right. Hail is next. Right, just give it all of the beans. Muchos binos. So it's still double track as well. So it's only the other side of Truro where it went single track. I suppose that was a line across to St. Orsel though, wouldn't it? So that's probably not that popular. I don't know, that's where the main trains come in. St. Allstall, close to Plymouth, St. Allstall, and then... Hmm, that's bizarre. We'll see how, how it is. Uh, no, I don't dabble, dabble with the Creators Club. Doesn't interest me at all. It would be cool to have my own livery done for trains, but it doesn't interest me. Oh, more of the speeding. Just can't beat the look of a a DMU, I don't think. Thankfully, I don't think we're at a point where they're, they're going to be taken off the rails completely, because uh, getting power out to these remote parts, so overhead lines just ain't going to do it, and it, it, would, it would be literally a blot on the landscape. So I think we got diesel 
around for a while. Yeah, it's set at St. Ives. So an old station here. Yeah, it does say St. Ives on the front. Things anything we can do with it. Hang on, there we can. No, we can change it. There you go, yeah, we can do it. So we are going to St Ives, so we'll leave it at St Ives. Try and bring the speed down. To grow chives, St Ives chives. As a business. I shall move to some Ives and grow chives. I don't think I would move to some Ives because in the summer you just you couldn't leave your house, could you? It's probably live, living in a tourist destination. You rely on tourism, but it's just a pain in the backside. Anywhere down in Cornwall in the summer, you can't go anywhere. Right, 1.4 miles down to uh, St. Ives. Still only seen one other train coming the other way. Right, breaking. So we got hail, then it's St. Earth. And it's turn around and run down into uh, St. Ives. Not much AI, we've seen one, one other train. So we're running six minutes late. I don't know how we're running six minutes late. just 
get on and go downstairs. It's like, where are we going? <laughs> Just go on, disappear through the floor. Okay, St. Earth, 1.5 miles. That's our turnaround point. And then we take the spur down to St. Ives. And then we'll see if we can do a timetable route then from St. Ives, so we do the reverse. Definitely a proper sounding train. We do like a bit of diesel. Okay, less than a mile to St. Earth. And we got to turn around and go the other way. Cornish. Right, so the spur off to St Ives is down there. That line coming in from our right. Actually, how can we get across to there? Are we going to have to drive forward and... and change? Go up and reverse. Yeah, I thought it might have brought us in on the other platform. I suppose it's a down platform, isn't it? So we've got to go up, up there, come back across go through and then go down that way. Lock doors. Well, that was quick. Stop at St. Earth. Line 1. Yeah, up there. Okay. Forward we go. So we're clear of the points. Okay, set train brake to full service. Set the reverser to off. Master key to lock. 
and sit in the opposite driver's seat. So, out of here. Track IR's interfering. Come on, Track IR, don't do that to me. There we go. Track IR was interfering with uh, my ability to walk. I just leave, leave all these doors open, it's fine. Get off the seats. Don't get on the seat. Get, get off the seats. I can't walk forward. Come on. Right, thank you. Ow. Right. Sit in the seat. Change the window. Change the window. Uh, stop us on Earth. Well, surely I've got to get it into a uh, forward headlights day. Uh, tail lights off. Station light on. Instrument lights on. Have we got the thing set to St. Ives? That's right. Okay. Release the brakes. And forward we go. Slightly overshot. So that's the line we'd normally, I think, just shuttle backwards and forwards. It's not Ives. That one there. We're cutting across, hopefully. Yeah, that one's a bit smoky. Would you like a bit of smoke? Okay, lock doors. Okay, stop at Lelant. So over to the left now. So 15 limit currently. Okay, 30 limit now. This definitely feels like really old single track. Much it's quite cool being a driver on these little branch lines. You just spend your, your shift just trundling up and down the same line. Probably quite a sought after little number. Eight hour shift, just going back and forth between St. Earth's and St. Ives. So we're not stopping at this one. Which is a shame.
stopping around here. You'd like to think so, that you'd have stopped at all stations, wouldn't you? I don't know why we haven't. It's not like there's many stations. This definitely feels a bit remote and out there. Okay, unlock doors. And I think it's just down to St Ives next. And then, yeah, we'll see if we can do a, a timetable route, then starting at St. Ives, so we can come back this way. Oh, yeah. Mysterious cobweb. Nothing, like, nothing worse than a mysterious cobweb. Oh, Carpus Bay is next, actually. Uh, thanks for the follow. And then we get a new schedule going forward. Every Saturday, uh, we're going to be doing some Train Sim World 2. Uh, every Wednesday night, though, is Train Sim. Um, tonight, back with some Surgeon Sim in multiplayer. Tomorrow afternoon, farming. Tuesday, back with Omzi. Uh, next Thursday, be something single player. Not sure yet what I'm going to do. And next Friday, more uh, Forza Horizon 5. And uh, next Sunday night, uh, sorry, next Saturday night, uh, still yet to be decided as well. Okay, Carvis Bay. There's a holiday park there, I think. Uh, the steam train's 31st of May, so a couple of weeks' time. Release on a Tuesday, uh, so I'll stream it on the Wednesday night. Maybe even the Tuesday. I might swap Omsi around that week. And do it on the Tuesday night. I see the beach. Carbis Bay. Yeah, I think I forgot how nice this line was down here. We've still got to make our way down to St Ives. Yeah, so I do remember sitting on the beach here at Carvis Bay and having the train trundle behind me.
the Barbara Hepworth Museum. Who the hell's Barbara Hepworth? Why would I want to go to a museum of someone I don't even know? Oh, that's lots of speeding. See, that'd be quite a nice place to live, wouldn't it? Apart from the old trains at the end of your back garden, front garden. That's very squeaky. Skincare products and Ives. Mm, don't think so. You're gonna miss the train, or maybe you're not. Oh, that's put a view inside. Why don't you go on the first door? Where are you going, people? Well, you lot up there are definitely going to miss the train. I'm now going to lock the doors. You're going to miss it as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, a mile to St. Ives. Yeah, I do like some hives. It's really, really nice. Okay, so there are some Ive skincare products. All right, who knew? Right, around the corner. Oh, they actually made us and lives. That's a bit of a way, isn't it? When you... These people are... Uh, probably uh, a name means a lot. I 
I think that's where I've sat. There's a cafe there. And I've sat on the beach just by the cafe. I remember getting a drink and sitting down there on that beach with the train. Unlock left. Oh, unlock doors. Ah, that's quick. Much chance to get in and out there today. Thank you for completing this run. Let's see how you performed. Seven. Breaking was a bit intermittent. But not bad. Right, let's have a look at the uh, the timetable routes then. Let's see if we can get something going from St. Ives. Uh, timetable. Uh, we'll pick the same train. And we'll go for August. So we want to go St. Ives to St. Earth. St. Earth to St. Ives. St. Ives to St. Earth. St. Earth to St. Ives. Is there not one going for St. Ives? All the way through, like we just did. Is there not the... I'm guessing you've only got the shuttle backwards and forwards then. Oh, it's a pain. It would be nice to do one to go back down same line okay so the only, the only ones that start us on earth are the ones there isn't any that go okay you're not create one we just do this on ives just on earth then okay we'll go back up there We'll do the return trip. Uh, okay. Mask key unlocked. Uh, headlights today. Destination lights on. Tail light switch is off. Instrument light switch is on. Uh, uh, oh, unlock doors. So on the right this time. Reverser into forward. There we go. Oh, a smoky one this time, look. Okay, lock doors. All right, back to Carbis Bay. Yeah, over the window so we can hear the engine. So I wonder if we'll stop at all the stops this time. So Carbis Bay, Lelant, St. Earth. No, we don't stop at that in between one. Oh, how bizarre. Properly smoky, look at that. Oh, not, yeah. Not good for the environment, but does look good. Uh, DJ Balty Wolf, uh, thanks very much for the follow. A great name.
right. Yeah, it's taking us into that right-hand platform then. Shame there isn't one going the reverse of what we've just done, because that would have been quite cool to do. It's definitely creaky. Five hundred yards back round to Carbis. Weekly. Itching to get on. See, so yeah, it must be a great little run, this being the train driver. Just a 17 minute trip up and down. You're going to miss it. Ha 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 ha. Right, Lelant. Oh, that looks so good. The one thing you can't deny with Train Sim World 2, it does look good. Not a lot of speeding. Oops. end up uh, derailing or anything. There we go. Uh, yeah, it did that when it first came out. Streamed it. Uh, I don't know if it's got up on YouTube yet. Yeah, I love Cornwall. So I'm going to end up uh, retiring to the south coast in the UK. Sort of Christchurch way. But I do like Cornwall. It's slightly downhill, this bit. Not 
not a bad view from the train either, looking out that carriage window. I'm sure it wasn't a 20 on the way down, I'm sure it's a 30. Next stop's just around the corner, and then it's back up to St. Durth. I could just sit and listen to that all day. Just, just the squealing of the wheels. Right, into Lelant we come. Leylant. There's, it's pronounced, there's an L in it and an ant. A couple of L's in it and an ant. That was some squeaky stopping. Wow, rushing to get on. It's a shame that the next station along isn't serviced by the train. It's like, nope, we're just going to ignore that one. We're just going to go straight through. Wait until 16.11.33. Really? I've got to wait 40 seconds. That's many of the seconds. Leyland Sortings. Okay. So park and ride for St Ives. Seem to be serviced quite or serviced quite frequently, but you're all stood there. You you can get on. The doors are still open. Well, until I do uh, that. Okay, stop at St. Earth. Okay, so the one round here is the one that is serviced and that one's left out. I 
it's just got me really wanting to take a train like this up on the um, the the Scottish Highlands ones. I've still got to do that long one from um, Glasgow to Malague. It's like five hours. far though is it between St Earth and um, St Ives so I just imagine buses do a, uh, a fairly good bit of business so there's still the bus I parked up at the leisure centre last time I went walked down made a mistake of walking up so next time I went back I got the bus back up again We've got a five mile an hour coming up. Yeah, definitely forgot how good a line this is. That's why over the coming weeks, apart from obviously when Steam comes out, we'll go through the scenarios and stuff on that. But I just want to go back through some of the routes we haven't done before and look at some of the scenarios we haven't done before. Including the uh, American stuff, like the Harlem line, I really liked. Well, getting that down to five wasn't easy. Carriages parked up over there, look. Slightly speeding, but into St. Earth we go. Come to a stop. <whistles> wow, I didn't have much chance to get on and off, did it? done that okay oh there we go <laughs> it just took a while <laughs> okay that one done let's look and see if we've got anything short we can do uh, let's go back to the main menu. 
timetable. I'll go August. I'll go with the 150 again. Uh, what have we got? Penzance to Truro. We just did that. No, we didn't do that, did we? No, we did do that. Did we go Penzance to Truro? Yeah, we did. Then we came back. Yeah, we've done that. So, North Store Penzance. Yeah, they're all. What about Freighty? Because there is the. Oh, hang on. What are we. Hey, it's letting me choose the. Hang on. What have we got in the shunter then? Loco release. What's that? Let's do that. Okay. Uh, um, reverse or into reverse? God, I've got to remember. Um, okay. I do love this little shunter. I don't know what we got to do. Hang on, it's tell us, wouldn't it? Uh, stop as indicated. Couple to ten vehicles. Uncouple one vehicle. Stop as indicated. Uncouple nine vehicles. Stop as indicated. So a bit of shunting. Not normally my bag, but we'll see how we get on. Trunding along by the sea, though. Not always a bad thing. So we've got to stop up here. It's a tiny one. I, I'm saying nothing to that. Couple to oh back down that way okay uh, so the reverse in the other way now reverse in the forwards breaky into the offy hang on we got a red. Proceed at restricted speed. Okay. So we've got a couple of some carriages down here. Yeah, 
yeah, I always forget that if you've got other locos, there could be other scenarios available on a certain line. Uh, something we're going to have to look at, I think, when we do these uh, lines. Just pick a random train and, and see what there is, scenario-wise. This is quite cool, if you've got the shunter, obviously. I got this as part of the Diesel Legends. Got a couple to these and then move them. I think it's probably be the view that we're going to have when we do steam because you're not going to be able to see much inside a steam train. You're going to have this view, aren't you? That's it. So you're going to be outside the train most of the time. Tea and scone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Throttle off. Okay, hopefully that's enough to be able to uh, connect. Let's jump out. There we go, coupled. Uncouple one vehicle. Okay, I'm definitely running a bit crabby. Okay, so you run down here, leave one carriage behind. Blimey, very old carriages these are, aren't they? I hear that class 150 in the shed as well. Yeah, I'm running forward. The only way I can run in a straight line is to look over here to the right. <laughs> Just these people waiting. Why, why can't I get on the train? Let me on the train. I want to get on the train. Oh, that diesel from that. Mmm, smoky. Oh, I see. We're leaving the engine behind. Okay. Okay, now we've got to run back. I will actually run back. Jump in our uh, little uh, shuntery thing. Excuse me, coming through. Drive in a hurry. Do you want to give up control? No. I'm running back to my train. Out. Out. I can't. Okay. Couldn't quite get in. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So, reverse that into... Re reverse. Let's go to that view. And... Breaking off...
and pulling the carriages. I've got a red though. Proceed as signals indicate. So red then. Although we've got a green, haven't we? It's the two little thingies, so we should be able to proceed because we're going into a siding. Is that right? We'll just try it. We'll just trundle through and hope it doesn't actually do us for not... Yeah, we're okay. So stop up here in uh, 700 yards. Naughty you. Did Twitch block you? It wasn't Nightbot, so I would have seen it. so cool. See how we'll end after this scenario. More train sim world 2 next Saturday. More train sim on Wednesday. But back tonight after 6 with uh, some Surgeon Simulator 2. More of the multiplayer mayhem we had the other day. sounds so good, doesn't it? I'm now already panicking by the fact that I've got to try and stop it in a second. Stop it, that is. Oh, we should be fine, actually. Brakes are actually quite good, considering we got all these carriages behind us. Is that it? That wasn't 20 minutes. Stop was indicated, stop was indicated. I haven't got to bring them back that way anywhere. It's not telling me to stop anywhere else. I 
Okay. Maybe. I was. Stop as indicated. Done that. Oh, hang on. Stop as indicated. Back there. Okay. So, oh, I see. We're bringing them back again. Okay, we can do that. Uh, okay, reverse into... Rever hang on, is that reverse? No, that's forward, isn't it? Reverse into forward. Okay, now we've got to push them back the other way. Ah. Uh -huh. It's the only tricky bit, isn't it? Because you can't see the other end. So if you're here, it's like, uh, yeah, I haven't got the ability to see. get past this thing though ticking over oh so nice Yeah, seeing the other end of the train is certainly tough. Thankfully, we can do this. Why do you have to go that far forward if we're just coming back and changing tracks? It seemed a long way to go just to clear these points here. Why not just come to like here? So I'm guessing we're just going over... Ah, no, we had to free the loco. The loco had to come out, didn't it? That's the loco that was parked in there. So we pulled forward, that's come up. Yeah, so we're now putting back so the loco... Ah, so the loco can run around. So Loco's pulled in. It's trapped behind the things. We've had to pull the carriages out of the way. Loco's come out. We've put the carriages back. The Loco's then going to come back and couple up to them. Because it, it can't run around. Uh, it'll make sense now. So yeah, so we're just bringing these carriages back in again. So these poor passengers have been like, wait, the train's gone, the loco's gone, what's going on? I like this, having to do little scenarios as well. That's quite cool. We'll have to keep an eye out for those in the future. We might have to do a bit more accelerating it, otherwise we're just going to come to a, a halt. the uh, throttle up a little bit just so we can get enough power to get it in so 
It's one thing with this Train Sim World 2 and the Unreal Engine, it does tend to zoom in. I don't know if we got a free cam, it doesn't do that, but that's like that. Whenever it passes something, it zooms on its own. Like that. Right, let's bring the throttle off. And be prepared to do the braking thing. Otherwise, we just make use of the buffers. I don't think the, the paperwork that would probably create. Shows actually the engine's 240 yards away. So it's definitely quite a long train. There we go. Uh, right, uncouple. Excuse me, just got to do the uncoupling thing. And stop was indicated, so back there again. Okay, so we want to go into reverse, brakes off, leaving the train behind. Okay, we got a yellow this time. Three hundred yards. Because then that loco is going to have to come back in, isn't it? So I've got to go up past the loco, so the loco can then run back down. Because that's waiting to come and couple up to the carriages again. What would have been cool is if it's possible to do both bits, wouldn't it? It'd have been nice to come down, grab that in the shunter, pull it up, go and bring the loco up, come down with the carriages, bring them back up and then take the loco back down and couple up. Right, that loco is going to come down now. And stop as indicated. I've got to go back there again. There you go. So that's coming down as well to couple up to those same carriages. What a cool little scenario. Sounds so good.
That was a last minute break in from that, wasn't it? Okay, and we got to stop just down here. scenario I like that not normally a fan of the whole shunting thing but that was uh, that was really cool there we go um, what a great look at um, uh, I forgot what it was we were at now West Cornwall local that's the one let's get some audio back there we go uh, that was where are we I've lost it. On the community. Oh, it's Cornwall Local. That's the one. Uh, so, yeah, we'll come back next Saturday and look at some of the other ones. So, we've got some more of the UK ones. We haven't done these extra scenarios. Uh, maybe like the Southeastern High Speed. See what else there is for that. We haven't done that for a while. Uh, or may look at that. And then uh, come back to do some more. Don't forget, m normal Train Sim. Train Sim Classic back on Wednesday. Uh, the next stream, though, is back tonight. Uh, four and a bit hours time for some Surgeon Simulator 2. Uh, carrying on from where we got to last time. Tomorrow lunchtime, some more farming. Uh, back on Tuesday then with some OMSI. Wednesday, Train Sim Classic. Thursday is going to be something single player. Uh, no, not sure what yet. Uh, next Friday, more Forza Horizon 5. Next Saturday lunchtime, more of this and uh, some more stuff over next weekend. Uh, so thanks to you lot in chat then for keeping me company for the last couple of hours. Uh, and to these people as well. So thanks to... Well, Chris wasn't watching. So thanks to uh, Larwood. Even Nightbot gave up uh, for doing no moderation. DJ Bolty, Mysterious Cobweb, and uh, Jay Gibbler, whatever your name was, uh, for following. And Michael uh, for subscribing. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, I will be back with some idiots later on for some surgeoning. Until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.